Okay, boys and girls, we're going to do some reading. Week 5, Bug Bites. If you could please go to page 174. And it says... Let me open up the Doc Hub app. Okay. It says, um, Bug Bites. Notice and note contrasts and contradictions. Genre study. Informational text gives facts and examples about a topic. Authors of informational text may organize their ideas using headings and subheadings. Authors of informational text may also organize ideas by comparing and contrasting. Informational text may include text features such as bold print, captions, and italics. All right, boys and girls, we're going to be talking about informational text. And here is an anchor chart about informational text, boys and girls. It is real information, um, nonfiction piece, not fake. It is real and facts. Example, nonfiction books, newspapers, blogs, posters, menus, brochure, and flyers. It can contain pictures, charts, graphs, diagrams to help explain. These are called text features, boys and girls. Types of print, there's underline, bold letters, highlighted, italics, capitals, or colored. So these are the characteristics of informational text, boys and girls. Let's continue. Set a purpose. Think about the title and genre of this text. Title, bug bite, genre, informational. What do you know about the unusual food people in other countries eat? What would you like to learn? Write your ideas below. All right, boys and girls, so do you know anything, you know, weird that other people eat in other countries that we think might be weird? You can write it here. We have um, critical vocabulary, boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls, the critical vocabulary, we have pests, and pests are insects or small animals that harm crops or annoy people. There are many pests in the forest. Edible. If something is edible, it is safe for people to eat. Some flowers are edible. Forbidden. If something is forbidden, it is not allowed or accepted. My little sister sneaks into my mom's room and uses her makeup, even though she knows that is forbidden. Attitudes. Your attitudes are the ways you think and feel about something. The coach gives our team a pep talk to help us keep positive attitudes as we play the game. Okay, boys and girls, this is going to be the story of the week, Bug Bites, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, boys and girls.